are back at it again with Lake Street News, Episode 6. I'm your host, Maggie. And I'm your co-host, Owen. Today we've got stories about food pantries, attempted murder, a new jazz lounge, local theaters, Bed Bath & Beyond dying, and IHS clubs. A new live music event will be coming to Ithaca. Supporting the Trumansburg Food Pantry, Lynn Wiles, George Cook, and friends will be performing a mix of jazz, folk, and blues tunes. Admission is free, but remember to bring canned or dried goods to support the Trumansburg Food Pantry. Attempted murder. Last Friday, Kenneth Hallett broke into a uh, neighboring apartment in the Titus Towers residential building armed with a knife and attempted to murder the resident inside. Police were called to the building, and a witness said that they saw a man being taken to an ambulance covering injuries on their face. Another resident was seen with uh, injuries to their arm. The incident is still under investigation, and Hallett is being held in Tompkins County Jail. You like jazz? Well, downtown, the perfect lounge for you has just opened. The 7 Up Jazz Lounge is a new club with live music and top of style food. It's located under the upstairs, upstairs bar, so it's in a really convenient location. The lot where the lounge is located has been unoccupied for months during the pandemic, but now the lounge is giving it new life. Listen to Cool Jazz, and, cool jazz Live and eat West African and French food with friends and family in this new hotspot. Ithaca's local theater, Cinemopolis, has recently gotten a new executive director, with a months old search coming to a close. Kate Donahue, the new executive director, is very excited about this job opportunity, as she has been a supporter of the theater for six years since she moved here. Cinemopolis is very excited to have Kate leading them and can't wait to move into a thriving 2023 and many years after. The downtown Bed Bath & Beyond is closing its doors forever and going into the infinite beyond. After having countless products on sale for months but still struggling to make a profit, the store is permanently closing soon but with no final date set. This ethical location has been providing the city with towels and cheap kitchen appliances for years, but it turns out that setting, selling universal remote controls and non-stick pans that stick after one use at 70% off wasn't enough to save the store. Rest in peace. Lastly, we have an important announcement to clubs regarding some email etiquette. Roll the clip. Hello, Ithaca High School. I'm Flossie. I'm Silver. Welcome back to IHS Connect 2.0. Messages are everywhere. Many students and staff receive hundreds of emails a day from Canvas notifications, the high school listserv, and more. It's important that we use the appropriate channels for communication so that important things aren't lost in the noise. While it seems like the simplest way, your email blasts likely aren't being opened because your audience is too broad. Instead, messages can be distributed the following ways. Daily overhead announcements, Ithaca High School social media, IHS student hub, announcements on Canvas, Friday staff update or Friday community update sent every Friday, or finally, the monthly staff or community newsletter. If your club or organization has an email list, Canvas page, or Google Classroom, messages can be directed there too. The most direct communication is usually the best. Of course, if you're ever in a bind, feel free to contact Ms. Day or Ms. Dobmeyer for specific support. This is what your announcement should look like. They should be short, they should have a date and time included, clearly explain the event that is happening in three to five sentences, they should be submitted at least a day in advance on the student hub, they should only be shared on days when absolutely necessary, and they should be sent to the comms team through the form in student services. Clubs need to send their announcements um, to the comms team from now on to avoid clutter in emails. Announcements should not be more than five sentences, sent out daily by email or Canvas notifications to the whole school, including staff. Unless it is extremely important, it should not be sent out to the whole school and instead only to the people of interest. Club emails. Inboxes are incredibly crowded. We receive hundreds of emails a day from Canvas notifications and other things. Instead of sending out an email, send an announcement. Thank you for listening, and we thank you in advance for not clogging up our emails. Have a great day, Jess. Thanks for that. I know my email has been unnecessarily cluttered lately. That's, That's all, all we got, got for this episode, episode of Lake Street, Street News. News. And tune in See, next week for more news that happened. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, for real. Get the banter. Why? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we got to do banter. Um, the, the both parts are annoying. Oh, I'm not bantering about Zach's album. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you're not playing your album I think more. You guys should do the